Ryan here, Brick Bat Dad, and in today's video, I want to give you a walkthrough of this little tiny bat suit conveyor that I made. Unlike my other bat suit conveyors, my other bat suit conveyors. <laughs> Unlike my other Batsuit conveyors, this thing is small and you, you, you hand crank it instead of using a motor. I wanted to do something a little uh, cleaner and smaller um, just for fun, just to display things, Batsuits I'm working on on Instagram. And so I thought this would be fun. Lego, of course, made a Batsuit conveyor for the Lego Batman movie set, uh, Batcave Break-In. I think it's called Break-In. But I don't think it looks very good. Uh, I've talked about this in other videos about Batsuits conveyors, um, but I'm not very impressed with it. Although I liked that it was small and that thing uh, holds, I think, five or six suits. Um, mine can hold about that. I've just got three on it right now. So I wanted something that's cleaner aesthetically. And the main root thing I like is I like the, the, the Batsuit holders. I don't want anything behind them. I want them hanging, just like the movie. The way this thing works, it's got the hand crank on the side and it basically powers uh, a small gear that powers a larger gear. And that larger gear goes through a little gearbox to put the power up this, up this axle over here. So this, this axle here, um, actually is the thing turning and also holding this thing up. So because it's so small, I can kind of take advantage of the moving axle also providing structural uh, integrity, structural strength to hold this thing up. The other axle over here is doesn't spin, it's just stationary, holds up the other end. The spinning axle at the top basically just powers these wheels and like my other video about Batsu conveyors the wheel basically moves this custom tank tread um, that's basically a bunch of one by two Technic lift arms connected with pins and then I've got this kind of optional um, lift arm link lift arm tension I don't know what you call it t tension float that I put on the top. This thing's optional. I, I can take it off and it still works pretty good. What I noticed with this chain and what I got concerned is if I is that this chain because of the weight of the bat suits tends to drift and bend over. You can see that the, the you can you, sh you can kind of see that the um, the chain on this side is nice and straight where there aren't any bat suits and the chain over here um, drifts, um, bends over. And the reason for that um, is there's, no, there's nothing holding it straight. So, um, so this float is designed to kind of, to pull back the suits and keep them from hanging too much. I think it would be a much more important if I doubled the size of this uh, for this kind of chain. Um, it's really not an issue on the other Batsuit conveyor that I built where the chain is vertical and you got kind of gravity working for you. Here, gravity's working against us because we're, we're, the Batsuits are pulling off the side of the chain. So this float helps pull them back. Um, then there's some additional leaning that I didn't really address from uh, the fact that we just have three Batsuits on one side and none on the other. Um, I think filling this with bat suits would help balance it out. I haven't yet created detailed instructions. If you'd be interested in something like that, let me know. 
um, but I wanted to do a short video at least explaining kind of how the tricks that I used to, to put this together. Let me know if you have any questions and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you like Batman or Batman Lego. Uh, thanks. See ya.